Mr. P's Science and Math Podcasts. For more science and math concepts, search me out on iTunes by typing Papa Podcasts. You can contact me at papapodcasts at gmail.com. Other Papa Podcast titles include Chemistry Podcasts, Math Podcasts, which look at quadratic functions, polynomials, trigonometry, linear mathematics, and physics podcasts. Thank you for watching. Let's look at each region of high density electrons individually. So, first example we had were two regions of high electron density, and that meant that we had a linear shape. So here's an example, BeCl2. Let's look at the distribution of the electrons, so the shape. So notice here we have two regions. One, two regions, no lonely pairs. So two bonded pairs, zero unshared pairs to give us a total of two regions. Therefore, our shape is linear. Three regions of high density, high electron densities will result in a trigonal planar state or shape. An example of this, BF3. So let's look at the distribution of the electron. So it's shape. So we have um, boron in the central atom. We have three surrounding atoms, three surrounding fluoride atoms. And we have three bonded pairs. One, two, three. Notice how there are no unshared pairs. And another thing to make note of for these trigonal planar is that the angle found, let's uh, use a different color here, the angle found here between each fluoride is 120 degrees. Let's look at another example of a three region of high electron density. Oh, sorry, let's uh, talk about the shape. It's trigonal planar. Next example, NO2, negative 1. So let's look at the shape here. We have nitrogen as our central atom, two oxygens in our surrounding atoms, but if we notice, we have one, two um, electrons, so two um, bonded pairs of electrons. If you look over here closely, you have two lonely pairs surrounding nitrogen. So we have two bonded pairs, one unshared pair, to give us a total of three regions, which also constituted as being trigonal planar, but because of the extra pair of electrons, we're no longer gonna call it trigonal planar, but the plane, when, remember, when we're putting together this molecule of N, with two oxygens, what's going to happen is, well, we're going to have a cloud of electrons surrounding that. And, but re in reality, the shape is really a bent shape. If we're looking at four regions of high electron densities, we have what we call a tetrahedral shape. So an example of that, NH4 positive 1. So let's look at the distribution of the, um, this from the central atom, the other four hydrogen atoms. And we have each atom at, a, each hydrogen is apart from one another at an angle of 109.5 degrees. And that's what, tit, what will give us the four regional plane. Now, if we look at this central nitrogen, we have one, two, three, four bonded pairs of electrons and zero unshared pairs. So we have a total of four regions, which gives us our tetrahedral shape. But still, we will have four regions, but we're going to have three bonded pairs in this next example, NH3, one, two, three bonded pairs. But if we look up here at the top, we're going to have this cloud of electrons that's going to give us a different shape. And so what we're looking at is three bonded pairs, one unshared pair. We still are looking at tetrahedral, but what shape of the tetrahedral? Well, we're actually really looking at something that is considered trigonal pyramidal. Where we've got this pyramid shape here, but still with a triangular shape because of that additional cloud of electrons. In our last example here, 
NH2, notice how they're all variations of nitrogen with hydrogen. Our central atom, nitrogen, two hydrogen atoms bonded to that central atom. But here we have one, two unshared pairs. So two bonded pairs, two unshared pairs, a total still, all of these, four regions, which now no longer gives, because remember, when we're drawing this, all we're going to have is the nitrogen and two hydrogens. Of course, there's going to be that cloud of electrons because of that pair, let's say, but in reality, our shape is really another bent shape. 